Howdy! This is Ace, and this is a video log. Hopefully one of several coming up, or one of a hopefully a recurring series. Let's see how favourably this is received. That's the big thing. This video log is going to be basically talking about Mega Man. Because it's a Sprite Inc. video log, it's not just a personal video log, it's a Sprite Inc. video log. And I'm going to be talking about Mega Man. It's not going to be a podcast, so it's not like... Oh, this its topic is very different. While it's going to be about Mega Man, it's not necessarily going to be about Mega Man news or Mega Man theories or anything like that. It's going to be do with game development and showing people the inner workings of the Sprite Sync games as we develop them. That is the main plan. There will also be things about the community and things like that and occasionally probably talk about Mega Man news and if anything exciting happens. Um, but no, this is to do with Mega Man. And to do with fan games, and to do with things, and I'm gonna have a couple of questions to pose to people uh, during this vlog, which is what I'd like some feedback on, if possible. So, what exactly are we doing? We are going to be taking you through the development of two fan games, specifically Mega Man Cyber and Mega Man Revolution. Mega Man Revolution being a fan game made by Mike Crane, but who's passed the baton on Sprites Inc. to finish it off. Revolution's already playable from start to finish. It's it was a decent game, but had its flaws, and I'm trying to iron them out as best I can. Whereas uh, Cyber is going to be making a game from scratch, basically, and I'm probably going to alternate between the two projects on the any given month. That's the plan. We're going to start off with Revolution. There's also Sonic 2 Remastered, which is going very slowly, but again, if I have a Mega Man Burnout, I can always go back to that game, so that game's not cancelled or anything. That game's just on a temporary not being worked on hiatus, <laughs> basically. Hello, this is Mega Man Revolution's Inner Workings. This is being loaded in Multimedia Fusion 2. And this is Revolution in all its open source glory. Huzzah. I'm going to quickly go over a video based around the changes being made to the game. Um, this is changes that are going to be made as well as changes that have been made and I'll make but you'll start after the changes that have been made, so one of the global changes to pretty much every level, let's do a ghost man stage for an example, is some of the, there's been level layout alterations as well as most of the stages being shortened. In fact, all the stages have been shortened. So for instance, Ghost Man's had this little bit here added to it, and level design is mostly intact with what uh, Mike Crane designed. Only here's the mid boss rather than over elsewhere, where it used to be. And the stage ends about near, rather than continuing onwards and onwards and onwards and onwards, which was one of the complaints people had about the game, which was the stages were too long. So we've made a general change in that, making all the stages shorter. Some by little, others by a lot. Other changes include adding new gimmicks to some of the levels, so for instance, the Blastman has these speakers which blast you into the air, as well as there being new mid bosses as part of the new content. So, there's one, I think there's one in Blastman stage, one in Cryoman stage, wherever he is, there he is, and one in Sawman stage, I do believe, new mid bosses. So, there's some of the changes that have been made, other changes, uh. There is now new content to the game. So, for example, Wily Stage 1 has been split into Wily Stage 1 and 2. Because um, the level was just obnoxiously long, so... Here's Wily Stage 2 in its current incarnation. Not permanently going to look like this. I'm going to be making some changes. But those will be for later videos. But, for example, the cutoff point of Wily Stage 1 is about here and uh stage continues there's been changes to some of the boss fights and ongoing changes to others but for example i've changed about the beaver boss he now has platforms in his battle which makes dodging the cypher down sight easier and more reliable Hey, now it's a second form. Ow. 
Yes, this is a Catalonia Free reference. Some stages have entirely new boss fights. The shoot 'em up stage now has a completely new boss. The Blue November. Ow. In fact, there's even an entirely new stage in Wily's Castle. Complete with a new boss fight. But that's not all, we are planning even more changes to the game. For example, I'm in the process at the moment of uh, redoing Wally Stage 1. It's level design and all sorts in introducing a new gimmick. Hopefully to alleviate the issues people had with the boss I threw at them at the end of the stage, which I'm also working on. In addition, we are replacing all the Robot Masters. Well, they're going to be the same Robot Masters, but they're going to be somewhat different. Q image. As you can see, they, we've updated the designs quite a bit, we've, and I look forward to reprogramming the bosses, as that's something else we're going to be doing. I'm also going to be updating the end game fair amount. Slight spoiler in the corner there. And that should cover most the changes we are making. That should basically this video purpose is to go over the changes I've, I've gone through um, decently enough. So what exactly are we going to be doing with this video series? Well, I'm going to be taking you through the process of creating content for a, a game in Multimedia Fusion. Um, when it sits down to it, I'll be g g taking you through the process of making bosses and because I'm going to have to reprogram most of them. Maybe a bit of stage design, although that's kind of a dull thing, so probably not so much of that. But it'll certainly show you the updates to the stages. And that, that covers it. Um, hopefully this video series goes well. We'll see. We will see. Um, yeah. If you have a rough idea what you're getting into, um, this is the start of what I'm doing for... Wally Stage 1. Intrigued? Because this is all different. And what's going on over here? Time will tell. Future videos will tell. I will get to it. So, I want to replace one of the mid-bosses. Specifically this one. Basically, these are essentially two cutman edits. They don't make a full lot of sense. They don't look very good. And they're just around quite a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I really don't like these two. So I want to do something about them. I'm going to uh, pose the question, what should I replace them with? I've had a few ideas, perhaps an octopus type enemy, um, perhaps sh a shark with a freaking laser beams. I don't know, something that's more thematically appropriate to the level. Because let's face it, two random cutman people jumping about doesn't really fit in anywhere really. 
So let me know what you think. Those are some of the changes being made to the game, and I should probably go more in depth in future videos on like single topics, maybe. We'll see how it goes. We'll judge it and see how it goes. I thank you for watching. I shall catch you later. Ace out.